Barry Burbank with weather. News for New England. Good afternoon, everybody. Can you believe this? Yesterday at this time, it was 62 in Boston. We were enjoying such a wonderful day. And now look what we have on a menu. We already have the heavy rain changing over to heavy wet snow in the Boston area right now. Still heavy rain to our south. There is a little bit of sleet mixed in at the initial changeover uh, time period. And with that heavy wet snow falling, there is potential for some tree damage and power outages as we go through late this afternoon and tonight. East-northeasterly, winds will turn more northerly, and that will really bring the cold air down. And that will help to cause the snow to become drier in nature rather than being so waterlogged, at least initially uh, this afternoon. 30 to 60 mile an hour winds are likely. Some coastal flooding is uh, likely during tomorrow morning high tide just before 5 o'clock. As of noontime in Boston, it has dropped to 34. In fact, this the changeover has occurred about five hours sooner than I had expected. So therefore, we're going to call for some problems on the roadways by late this afternoon. Snow and sleet in Boston right now mixed with some rain still. Pressure starting to fall rapidly. Northeast wind gusting to 30 miles an hour. And as you see on the screen, at the bottom of the screen, these are all the cancellations coming up for this afternoon and this evening. There will be a lot more coming in as the afternoon goes along. These are the new numbers, mostly in the 30s, except 40 at Hyannis right now. As we take a look at the clouds in motion, here's the system, and it's really starting to wind up as this, uh, uh, it spirals eastward. And the center of the low is to the south, actually just to the east of Atlantic City, New Jersey. And it's really winding up right in here right now. And it's going to take an easterly track and it's going to draw down all the colder air to the north, changing it over to snow right now. Eventually, high pressure, and look at all this clear sky out in the Midwest. That'll work its way into our region, and we'll see some sunshine here, but not until Wednesday. In the meantime, here's the radar showing where it is precipitating right now, and most of it is in the form of snow north of this line, Mass Pike North, and it's mixed with some sleet and some snow coming down at times south of it, but that's where it goes over to all snow, and it's all snow up here coming down to beat the band. Meantime, this is indicative of some heavy rain and thunderstorms down in here, which is also coming along. So we got quite a lot to go through this afternoon as that snow line shifts towards the south. Heavy rain on the south coast and scattered thunderstorms down here as the winds get gustier. And uh, snow for tonight. In fact, there could be blizzard conditions at times, even in Boston, as the snow gets down towards Cape Cod and the islands. We're dropping to 28 in Ashford, 31 in Boston, to 36 in Hyannis. And with that wind, will be some blowing and drifting of that snow and some power outages are possible. Tomorrow, we'll still have that shield of snow, snow spinning right here in eastern New England, sort of on the backlash or western flank of the storm, still snowing, perhaps very heavy the first thing tomorrow morning, then becoming lighter during the day while the sun starts to come out in Vermont and western Massachusetts. We'll see that sun here on Wednesday. Tomorrow's high should be about 35 in Boston, 33 in Nashville, with the snow continuing to fall, still accumulating in the morning, but probably not much additional accumulation likely in the afternoon. Northern wind at 25 to 35 miles an hour, high tide at 4, 53 in the morning, and that's when we could have some coastal flooding. Potential total amounts from this storm, 12 to as much as 18 inches in some localized areas in here. So I'm calling for about a foot in Boston, that seems likely at this point. Uh, 6 to 12 inches over southeastern Massachusetts, tailing down to 6 inches near the Cape Cod Canal, maybe down to 3 to 4 inches in the outer part of the Cape, not all that much down at Nantucket, and also not all that much, but still it's a significant amount for this time of the year out in western Massachusetts and Vermont. They'll be out of the heavy snow shield. We got it right in our own backyard. So, after uh, getting the uh, stormy conditions for this afternoon, tonight, and tomorrow morning, it'll look almost like a blizzard at times, uh, it's going to take off the lighter snow during tomorrow, and the sun comes out on Wednesday, and we certainly will be pleased to see that. And once the sun comes out this time of the year, it'll be April 2nd. The temperature will spike quickly, and we'll be soaring to 60 on Thursday, so the meltdown will begin then, of course, but between now and then. Ooh, ugly. Look out. <laughs> All right, Terry. Thanks very much. By the way, we're going to continue to keep you up to date throughout the afternoon and evening on the, sto the snowstorm. I can say that. Turn to News 4 for hourly updates beginning at 2 p.m. We'll have the very latest in the road conditions, school closings, and the forecast. There's more on News 4 beginning at 5 o'clock tonight, of course. Barry, 12 inches in Boston. Well, we, it's already gone over to snow a little earlier than we'd expect it, so that's what we're looking at, a good foot of snow in the city by the time it's all over tomorrow. Stay with us. For Barry Burbank, I'm Gary LaPierre. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you for watching News for New England, the most local news on TV. Join us again today at 5.